Good morning, good morning, my darling dreamers. My name's Nilsa. For those of you who don't know me, this reading is for entertainment purposes only. And we are doing some 2022 messages for air signs. You can do one at a time with a ton of messages. This could either be you or a soul partner. If these Zodiac videos do well, I'll do more. But I usually don't really get many views, so they're a lot of work. So I only try to do them like once a year. <laughs> Something like that. Maybe like three times, two or three times a year. Aquarius. The heart wants what it wants. But make sure that they want you as much as you want them. Okay. I know this. I know immediately to your coming up to your mind you're thinking about a person i'm also hearing negotiation with something i'm also hearing a pet somebody is smothering a pet that is just not giving them any affection back it's going to like mess you up you know gemini i think it's cool how gem has the word gem in it like a diamond and it also has mini like mini mouse I should just call him a Gemini. <laughs> All right, it's it's done. I can't undo it. Now you guys are Geminis. Uh, if you're looking for perfection, you'll be single forever. 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 Libra. Woo! Woo! You are going to talk today, baby. Yes, you are. I just heard center stage. Oh, yeah, baby. You'll never know unless you ask. I'm seeing Pocahontas, right? Will you paint with all the colors of the wind and something about, or will you ask the blue, why the wolf, where has it gone? Oh my goodness. Something about, or ask the wolf while he howls at the blue corn moon. I don't know. The point is, she says, if you never ask, then you'll never know. Right? So she's like, basically, you can assume, but measure twice, cut once, right? All right. We're going to get some features or, you know, personality things from a few of my personality decks, baby. Some of you I'm also hearing um, might get some of these messages that feel like they apply to spirit babies. This is not a spirit baby reading, but I did just hear that with Aquarius, and this came out. Psychic gifts. That was a blankie. Well, let's see, blankie. Oh my god, Freudian slip. No, that was a card where you can write something. I wrote psychic gifts on there. LGBTQ. Games. So it could be somebody that's competitive. But we have faithful. So there's a song I was channeling for a while. It goes, we're on each other's team, and we know we're on each other's team. I've been hearing it a lot lately in my head. And that's like when you want to fight with people, remember you're on the same team, you're on the same team. And so you got to be faithful to and loyal to your team, doing what's best for them. And I also feel like uh, for those of you that are in connections where you like a certain sports team, and you're hoping that they're going to like switch over, they're not going to. And that's kind of like that first card that's like, if you're trying to force them to love something, they're not going to do it with the negotiation. If you're just like, please, please, will you be a Bears fan or Celtics or Bulls or um, Blackhawks, you know, something like that. Cubs. Cubs, like, wow. They can't be a Cubs fan. I don't know what to tell you. Dump his ass. <laughs> All right, Gemini, Gemini Cricket, right? Oh, this could be two air signs. You would love yourself, wouldn't you? Introvert, just watching. We also have a fire sign coming through. So somebody could be an air sign. Somebody could be a fire sign. Spontaneous. So I feel like one of, one of you is a double air sign. Um, oops, sorry. One of you is a double air sign. And one of your big threes is fire. Multilingual. You can be multilingual. All right, Libra. 
intelligent. You're like, mm, tell me something I don't know. Mm -hmm. You like your quiet time to think and reflect on things. That's something you are going to need to make decisions this year. You can um, probably use the quiet time while you're cooking. Nobody's going to bother you unless they're like, is it done yet? Is it done yet? We have narcissistic. So this could even be like you have memories of, um, and we have dark complexion. You have memories of like your, I'm seeing somebody's like mom, like smack somebody's hand. Like someone wanted to help learn how to cook and they're like, no, you're not going to do it right. No. And so they never got around to it. They never got around to learning how to cook. And so this is like saying, you know what? Fuck them. You weren't supposed to have those memories. Take some, you know, those like little A-L-E-X-A. -A. They're like little iPad sizes now. They have videos on there. You pull up recipes every day. My mom does it too. She learns how to cook through that. So that's coming through. But I'm the sexual. Am I sexual? Yeah. Am I the only one? Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Let me go on this side. Because like this... I'm like recording my iPad, so it's like taking up like my whole desk here. We have brown hair, our piercings. Straight brown hair. Average height. Oh, this one also says blonde hair. So one of you could be blonde and one of you could have brown hair. Gemini, we have mole. Average height. Tattooed. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We also have bald. We have freckles. Libra. Oh. We have a beard. Beard came out for Sagittarius, too, so you might be... Libra might be in a connection with a Sagittarius. We have black hair, glasses, man bun. So that's that. Oh, and then we got blue eyes. So we got blue eyes, man bun, beard. <laughs> this deck, I love this deck. It's by Simply Spiritual, the physical features. I love the size of it. It just fits in my beautiful Empress hands so easily. Same thing with this one. This one is called Zen Within Me. I'm obsessed with this deck. I'm not obsessed with a lot of decks, you know. Just this one and the other one I'm going to use later. Oh. Got to shuffle it. Hold on. Keep your mind out of the gutter. Hair. Loyal. H. Gemini. We got fashionable. Nose. S. So it'll be a nose piercing. Trustworthy. Ears. So they could have their nose and ears pierced. Libra. We have... B, T, intellectual, didn't you get like intelligent earlier? Funny, C, so yeah, any of those can be significant as well. Bottom of the deck is witty, of course, your air sign, of course, you have intellectual jokes, intellectual jokes, guys. 
my grandma has an accent. So when she says smart, it's pronounced like this. Oh, you so smart. So if you ever hear me say that to you, it's you're really smart. We're using Exposed by Celestial Forecasts by Carrie. Oh, it's already popping out of Aquarius. All right, Unhealed came out. Affectionate. Dishonest. And we have keeping their cool. Um, I'm seeing somebody getting like flinchy. So there's somebody that might have had uh, been like abused physically as a child. So they're not telling you why they might not like being hugged or they might not like, so like, you know, some guys don't want like their, their butt or their balls touched or something not to get too graphic or they don't want their neck kissed. Like there's certain areas and it could have something to do with when they're little, but they're not going to tell you about it just so you know. Okay. And we have clueless at the bottom there. That's like you saying, like, I have no idea why they won't let me kiss this or touch that when every other guy in the world or every other girl in the world likes that, you know? Gemini! I'm sorry. Gemini! Genuine. Oh, you got shy too. Okay. We got Twin Flame. We got Thirsty. You guys want each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we have Mature. It's grown-up sex. Pinky up. <laughs> Libra. We have Generous. Oh, you are. You are so giving and wonderful, Libras. Oh, look at that, though. We have Two-Face. That should have been for Gemini. Talk to me about this. Why did that come out? Mysterious. Okay, so it's not necessarily a bad card. Um, you only you are showing one side to your partner and one side to the world. Yeah, look, capricious. You're showing one side to your partner and one side to the world. But I, I feel like that's a good thing, and same thing for them showing it to you and to the world because some things you want to be private and personal. Like that's just between us. That's just between us. You know what I mean? Yeah, look, low-key. We can keep it low-key. Bottom of the deck, ladies, man. You guys like somebody that gets a lot of attention. This is Love Language by Divine Moon Empress. Flirty text. Dessert. Coffee dates. Steamy showers. Gemini. Kisses. Forehead kisses. Gamers. Bubble baths, love letters, Libra, double dates, concerts, karaoke, and eye contact. These are all different love languages. to some love messages.
This is Love Notes from Your Secret Admirer by Angelic Revelation 444. Oh, love at first sight. You're the sexiest person I've ever freaking seen in my life. I knew her right away. Your eyes are so captivating. I get hypnotized. Especially at that first sight. Oh, man. Will you marry me? Gemini, I want to introduce you to my family. Getting a lot of repeating messages here. The Gemini could be with the Scorpio. I want to elope. Yep, I want to get married. I want to propose. <laughs> this is like the person that's with, if you saw the other readings, this is like the person that's with the Scorpio. Wow. I want to come towards you, but I'm not sure if my family's going to approve. They don't give a fuck. They, that's probably why the loping card's coming up. Could be different religion. Could be different um, economic classes. You yeah. know? They could be... I'm also seeing, like, you know, they could be, like, wicked religious, like I said, and then, like, you're into tarot, and they're not. <laughs> like, what? Libra, the first time I saw you, we had a deep connection. I just knew I had to get you. Your scent is so magical and alluring, and you're like, tell me something I don't know with my expensive-ass perfume. Um, this is, I know you've had heartbreak after relationships. I'm watching you from afar. I dream of making sweet, sweet love to you every night. Next, we're going to use the Pink Oracle by Divine Moon Empress. Another deck that's really easy to shuffle. And it's pink. Yay. Aquarius. <gasps> True love's kiss. <laughs> Temporary situation. Reading coffee leaves. You got coffee date earlier, too. Um, Gemini. It feels good to feel good. That paid off. Ooh, la la. You are my weakness. Libra, if you're asking for a sign, this is it. Mix it up. There's a cooking. Reliable, trustworthy, and sincere. Genuine feelings. Genuine feelings, and again, with that two-faced card, they're showing you one thing, and then they're different to other people, but trust trust their genuine feelings on how they're, they're treating you right now. Uh-oh, I was stepping on a card, and I didn't even know. Oh, my goodness. Now it's all bent. Oh, jeez. I think I fixed it. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to get faster at pulling the cards out because um, the last videos were like really long. So I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. So where are you going to be getting signs from the universe for this year for all your lessons that are coming? Anniversaries. For dates, street names, and coincidences. So those coincidences are not coincidences. They are signs from the universe. This is the Illuminator's Amulet. Think of a question. 
a hard no on this one. Trust you already know. Stop ruminating. Just make a decision. You're veering off path, Aquarius. Gemini, step back and reevaluate. And then Libra, continue manifesting this. Stop hemming and hawing. Figure out what you want. Know that it's coming. Let's get some timing on these. Aquarius, very soon. Gemini, three days. And then Libra, longer than you think. It might take longer than you think. And that's why you're second guessing it. But just know it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. A heart to heart, Aquarius. Gemini is getting a wish come true. Libra got a Harry Potter. <laughs> always, always. So these numbers can be significant as well. We have 18, 40, and 29. And that is my deck, my fairy tales real. This is chapter one. Chapter two will be releasing this year since you know it's 2022 so doing it in order <laughs> all right for the month of january my personal half hour readings are half off stay <laughs> they are normally 111 they're 55 55 for a 30 minute live chat session this can include either a psychic reading this could be, you know, business strategizing for a spiritual business, or this could be learning tarot or oracle, dice, charms, any of that type of, basically divination reading. All right. You can do this. Akio Union. Thank you for watching. I love you more than ice cream. I'll see you real soon.